We all want to make sales on Fiverr, but the first thing we've got to do is to get somebody to actually click on our gig. And to do that, we need to interact with Fiverr and actually make images and videos and promotional content that is clickable, that will get people to actually come check out what we're offering. And I noticed I wasn't doing all that well on that front. I used the same gig image for probably two years and it was going pretty well. And when things are going well, there is an inclination to just kind of leave it, right? But sometimes we need to re-examine the things we've been using and see if now with our knowledge and with what we've seen, if we can't do just a little bit better. So that's what I did. I dug into mine to see what I could change. I wanna show you what I changed, what I was thinking about when I did it, and maybe this can help you kind of think about if you need to make one, what you might be thinking about when you're making yours, or if it may be time to redo yours, what you should do. So let's take a quick look. All right, so I'm gonna look at everything inside of Microsoft Paint because it's free. I would usually do this in Photoshop, but just Assuming that we don't have Photoshop, here it is in Paint. We can just slap all of our stuff in here to make these comparisons. So this was my very first gig image. Well, actually, I had one before this that I slapped together, but this one I paid for. And uh, there's actually a few small issues with this one. Uh, if you can point them out, <laughs> you'll get extra gold stars or something. So the first thing is the five-star reviews. It says 255 star reviews. Super outdated for one. I have thousands of five-star reviews now, so we're not putting our foot best foot forward. Uh, secondly, I don't know if I ended up using this this exact image because I was told uh, that you actually can't put uh, an, a mention of how many reviews or five-star reviews you have um, on the gig image. I don't know if that's changed, but I was told that you might want to look out for that. Um, but that is something that is an issue here. As low as $10? Cool. So we want to change uh, you know, our image every time our pricing structure changes, that's an issue. And 24-hour delivery, I've actually changed to 48 hours, so that's an issue too. So a lot of these specific information blurbs, feel free to use them. It could be a really good selling point that you want to put out there, but at the same time, we have to keep in mind that if any of these things change, we're going to have to go in and change our image, right? So it can, or we'll be mismatching with what the image is and doing sort of false advertising. We don't want that either. So something to kind of keep in mind when we're making our images using our sellable qualities, but not making them so specific that we're going to have to go and change every single time. So keep that in mind. Beyond that, is there anything else that sticks out to you as being an issue here? So again, I paid for this. It came back to me. I just gave them some images that I, I took at home and said, okay, can you make something with this? This is what they came up with. I see a couple small issues. Uh, Number one, the main thing that I'm worried about here is just how dark the image is, right? This is a really dark image. And when we're in a sea of other people showing their listings, we want to make sure that our image is popping out at the viewer and making them want to click. Does this make us want to click? I don't know. Amazing voiceover? Is that kind of the right thing that we want to be saying? It's kind of, you know, it, it could be good, but maybe amazing is a pretty big word. And if we're selling to people across overseas, stuff like that, we want to use something that's very quick and easy to read and understandable. Uh, the cursive writing on voiceover is small and not that legible either. Uh, so there, there's a lot of small issues here that I wanted to address when I made a new image. Let's take a look now at the new image. So again, I slapped everything into MS Paint, so let's just scroll over here. Ba -da -da -da. So this was the new image that I came up with. So. Right away, we can see one little issue is that the picture is a little bit crispy compared to the last one. We can see a lot of sort of like artifacting and, you know, it's just it's not that high resolution. Um, so keep that in mind. You might want to make sure you're shooting on a very high resolution camera if possible, uh, especially if you're doing some modifications. It could end up looking kind of bad. But the thing is, it is going to be pretty small on the page when you're actually looking at uh, the gig images. So keep that in mind. The main thing I did here, I wanted to do a couple things. I wanted to change the words. I wanted to brighten everything up. Um, we used, I, I used a sort of goldy yellow color to contrast with the blue shirt that I was wearing. I kept everything very bright. And comparing the two images, I'll just kind of bring this one over. I mean, I think we achieved that. It is much brighter. I'm now the focal point of the picture. Um, and the first one, I wanted to have my headphones on, I wanted to have my microphone right in front of me, kind of showing that I was voiceover. But somebody who's looking for you here, they've already typed in that they want voiceover. They know you're selling voiceover. Okay? And it, it's right there in the text. 
So what we're doing is we're just displaying the person that we are. I went for a more natural smile. I, you know, I, I don't like that my eyes get so closed when I smile, but it is what it is. This is just what I look like when I'm having a good time and I'm happy. So that's what I went with. And as far as the verbiage, the words that I used, best choice voiceover is what I went with. I think that's a really like sort of uh, clear thing. It's saying like, this is going to be a good choice for you if you choose it. Quick, easy, reliable. Those are things that I believe are true about the thing that I'm selling that are not going to change over time. So all of those sort of issues were addressed. But the proof is in the pudding. So let's take these two images and slap them into the normal page of voiceover offerings and see how they do. If they pop out to us, which one looks better? Let's do that. So how we can do that is just by going to the website itself and grabbing the entire page. So I'll show you that real quick. So if we go to voiceover.com, we search for our category, in my case, male voiceover. Just go down here, type in the snipping tool, click new, and just grab everything from this page, copy that, throw it in the paint, and I've already done that. So over here we have sort of the first couple panels of, of uh, voiceover offerings by all these great sellers. And we're gonna grab one of mine here, and I'll just grab the edges. Now this doesn't need to be perfect in Photoshop, you can do it a little bit better. Here I'm just gonna bring it over and make it nice and small like this, and just replace one of these, like this. So let's pretend that's there, and let's go over and grab this one too. So with just a little bit of finagling, we can get them into approximately the right locations, and we just need it to be approximate, because really what we want to do is we want to just stand away from the computer a little bit, bring your head back, pretend you were just looking at this, and which one pops out to you the most? Like, maybe even back up and, and close your eyes a little bit, which one pops out? I can tell you immediately that the two yellow ones pop out the most to me, along with the one in the bottom right, for whatever reason, even though that's not like a proper image, it's just a guy. But looking at it, I do kind of think that the new one definitely performs better than the old one. You can let me know what you think as well. Um, again, that, that resolution is important, but when it's shrunk down to this size, the resolution is not going to be quite as important, I don't think. Um, so just making sure we have everything be legible, everything be noticeable right away and bold. That is the most important part. Um, looking at it like this, I think my main qualm with mine is actually maybe the, the lettering that I've chose is not bold enough. So these are things that you can notice when you start comparing it to other offerings right next to you. So this is a good exercise to do to see whether or not your offering is popping, if it's doing everything you need it to do, and go from there, right? So use this as a jumping off point to make the changes that you need. In sort of summary, let's think about the things we want. We want ourselves, our personality, what we are trying to convey about what kind of experience people are gonna have when they work with us to be front and center. We want to minimize big and sort of laborious language and difficult fonts. We want it to be clear and concise and we want the colors to pop and come off of the page and differentiate ourselves from the other offerings around us. That's the main thing we want to think about with gig images. If you have anything else you want to add, please add it in the comments. We'll talk to you there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.